Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Has Calvin Phillips ruined his career by leaving Leeds United? That's what we are going to be talking about today, as well as the latest Leeds United news. But, guys, before we do get into the latest Leeds United news, be sure to smash that like button. Let's go for 150 likes on this and subscribe if you are new. I'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe right now. One, two, three. As you can see by the top corner, we are very close to... 8.7k so get down there and subscribe right now and comment your thoughts it has calvin phillips ruined his career by leaving Leeds united we will start with that obviously as a Leeds united fan it's quite sad i personally think to see calvin phillips what has happened to him obviously he hasn't helped with injuries he's gone to manchester city and he's now just coming on for you know that last minute sub where you you just kind of break in the play he's done that a few times in the champions league now and the thing is, some people are saying, well, there we are. He, he left us. He's he's not really crying, is he? He's on 100k plus a week. I understand that. I, I really do. But him being a local lad, you do want him to do well. And the fact that he's kind of doing a Jack Grealish, Jack Grealish is similar, that he's becoming a bit of a flop at Manchester City, I believe. And I don't want Calvin to go down the same route, but it does look like he is doing that. We saw him come on again last night. Like I said, 92 minutes or whatever it is. He comes on for 30 seconds. The game's over. And he's done that a few times. Yes, he's returning back to injury, or from injury, sorry. And he has been selected in Gareth Southgate's England squad today. That's We, we are going to be talking about that as well um, to do with Jack Harrison, how he hasn't made Southgate's uh, squad. Uh, but Calvin Phillips... It was. It did come from multiple reports that people are saying he should go back on loan to Leeds for the season, get some game time there. But I think it's. I think that's kind of disrespecting Leeds United and the players we have and Jesse Marsh when people just say that. I love Calvin. I loved Calvin at Leeds United, but the midfield now of Mark Rocker and Tyler Adams arguably suit the system better, and they're a lot better players. Mark Rocker for how little we got him for has just done so well in the middle of the park, similar to Tyler Adams. I just don't think Calvin Phillips starts in that Leeds United side anymore. I know that's crazy to say, and I know he's returning from injury. I know he's England player of the year, but I just, I just don't think he does, which might be a mad statement to make and call me out for it in the comments down below. But I just don't think Calvin Phillips would get into this lead side anymore. And you've got to give credit to the, the likes of Tyler Adams and Mark Rock. I've spoke before in my last video where I did rank the Leeds United players that every time Leeds have had a negative performance this season, I don't believe it's gone through the midfield. And that is credit to Adams, Rocker, even Click when coming on uh, and Brendan Aronson as well. So... Yeah, Calvin Phillips, unfortunately, it doesn't look good for him. And I wouldn't take him back on loan. It, some people are saying that. I, I wouldn't even take him back in the future. I'm never a fan of you going back. You know, when everyone wanted Charlie Taylor to come back at left back, I wasn't a fan of that. I don't like returning players. Even Alioski. Someone's like, he's on a free. Bring him back. We need a left back at the start of the season. No, I never go back for old players. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Um, I really do do hope he he sorts his career out and he might actually get more game time in England for England this year than than Man City, which is horrible to say. But the thing is, I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for him. He's on 150k a week, whatever he's on. He's on good money. But similarly, he I believe he is ruining his his career leaving Leeds United. And it probably was at the right time. And I know a lot of people are going to be annoyed because he's not even a Leeds player anymore. Why are you even talking about him? But listen, guys, I mean, there's a bit of a break in play. We're not playing till the 2nd of October. I need video ideas. Without further ado, we're going to get on to the next bit of a uh, talking point. Is Obviously, we know about Cody Gakpo. We know Leeds United are somewhat favourites to sign him in January. And I'm here to just kind of say we're not. You know what I mean? I think we've lost our chance now. We really should have signed Gakpo when we could have. We really should have gone all out for him. I, I really believe we should have done that. I believe in January, he is not going to come to Leeds United. All summer, he thought he was going to Manchester United. I don't believe he will turn to Leeds United. And I think his stocks will go up. His price will go up. The guy has like so many, like a sofa score as a rating system after every game. Yes, it's not really reliable, but he's in the nines and eights and nines constantly for them since Leeds have been linked with him. I just don't believe that we will pull that transfer out in January and people are still holding on to that. I do not believe it will happen. That's just my opinion. I really don't believe that will happen. I think we've lost it with Gakpo now and that would have been a hell of a player to have. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm just here to say, I do. I, we're apparently still the favourites. I saw something today saying Gakpo's still ready to join Leeds in January. I, I just don't believe it's true. I really don't believe it's true. I think it's kind of out of our way now. Unless we've got some sort of pre-agreement that Rads and the board are keeping quiet, I do not believe Gakpo will choose Leeds United come January. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about the Gareth Southgate news. Uh, obviously, he has selected his 24 or is it 28-man squad. I think it's 28-man squad for England's upcoming fixtures. Um, he's picked decent players. We're not going to get talk too much into it who are not Legion United players. Calvin Phillips has got called up. Um, but Jack Harrison hasn't been called up. I think he, he hasn't been brilliant since the Chelsea game. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think he has. And that is his problem. He is a bit too inconsistent. But he's played six games, got four goal contributions. That's three assists and a goal already. Jack Grealish and Jared Bowen both picked with six games and zero goal contributions. And this just shows again that I don't know what Jack Harrison could do to get in that England squad. I really don't. He hasn't been the best, but he's definitely been better than the people who have been picked. I just think it's harsh on him. I don't really see, see any other uh, Legion United player getting in, especially not Bamford. So that's the one that I was just a bit like, how, how is he not? Or how is he at least not knocking on the door? But, but there we are. I thought I would just speak about that. But guys, it's going to be a bit hard over the few weeks i'm starting my new job next week um for the bbc so wish me luck in the comments guys uh but i thought i would just get you some leeds united news and i just want to know your opinions i, I don't really want to go too much into it about the calvin phillips thing but i really do want to know because i know that the fan base is kind of split with oh who cares screw him he's left leeds now and some people going yeah but he's a leeds boy we wanted to do well so let me know your your comments down below what's your thoughts on gak pot at leeds united do you believe it will happen I personally don't believe it will happen unless there's some sort of pre-agreement us Leeds fans don't know about. And do you think Jack Harrison should have got called up to the England squad? I kind of do, you know. I, I actually do. Credit to him. I do like Harrison. He hasn't been brilliant this season, but stats-wise, he's better than the other two already. So I, I, I don't know. Legion United under-23s, I believe, play tonight. Willy Gononto, or is that how you say Gononto? Our striker that we brought in, the young Italian, will make his debut tonight. Uh, alongside Bamford's going to be playing. I think a few people coming back from injury are going to be playing a strong under-23 side or under-21 side now, they are calling it, uh, to play tonight. So wish them all the best. It'll be good to see Willie in action. Eh? Uh, but without further ado, guys, uh, I hope you do enjoy this video. Content is going to be it's going to be hard to put out over the next few weeks. If you want some suggestions, more maybe neutral content, uh, leave it in the comments down below. I want to do what's best for you guys, but I really want to hit 8.7k. So get down there right now and subscribe. Let's try and smash 150 likes. And if you haven't checked out my last video, uh, I was ranking the Leeds United players on how well they've done so far this season. So go and check that uh, as on, on my previous videos. Smash 150 likes on this video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. I've been Ollie Ward. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery.